this alternate other assault rifle, the Simopal VZ-88V, that appears to be the same aside from having... Well, it has a 24 additional am ammo per magazine now. I guess that's all. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to pay 800 for that. Okay, I think I'm going to... I could get a sm smoker drone, but I'm going to stick with Johnny Five. He's been real helpful so far. Oh, yeah. He, he, he nearly laid down his life for me in that crack house. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I should... I should probably give some sort of context to the reference to Japan invading California or whatever. Or someone, you know, reached out to the Japanese. <coughs> <coughs> Japan has had, since the uh, dawn of the Sixth World, J Japan has had a bit of a... Uh, remilitarization, I guess you could say. It's, uh... It's... <coughs> it's now a, um... It's a, uh... It's a constitutional... It's a, now, it's a monarchy called the uh, Japanese Imperial State. Which, um... Is... Well, remember how... Remember the New Yen is, like, the world's reserve currency? Right. So, the, so I mean, they're pretty important. They have, uh... They've... Ex they've sort of... They have some sort of imperial ambitions. They've got... They, like, they control parts of the Philippines, and I believe some other air parts... Places in Asia. And they actually... Do... They... Some, some enclaves, like, on the western coast of the United States. Um, they're also one of the only, uh, to give you an idea of their importance, they're one of only three powers on Earth to field nuclear aircraft, powered aircraft carriers. The other hmm. being the U United Canadian and American States and the Cider Krupp Heavy Industries Corporation. Wow. And, uh, I, and like I said, you think about, you can think on how much the world has changed when I say that, you know, one of, one of the three, world's three great military powers is a, is, is the Cider Krupp Heavy Industries Company. <laughs> yeah, some like I said before, some of the really big mega corporations are kind of kind of straddle the line between companies and nation states in a way. They um So is it only Western mythos that came to reality? Oh no, no, there's other stuff too. Right, so is okay. There's yeah, there's a, there's there's various also there's a, there's other sort of like mythical beasts and such from other places in the world. And other cultures. Yeah. Like okay. there there are different species of dragon, for instance. Like there's Western ones and Eastern ones. Okay, that makes sense. Central American ones. Um. Really? Yeah, or like you know, like Quetzalcoatl and all that. Oh, okay, it's Quetzalcoatl. Yeah. It's um. Cider Krupp actually. One of the things I, li I one of the things I like about little touches about this the universe I like is that a lot of the mega corporations are include parts of like real companies. I mean, like there really is a Krupp, hmm. and it really is. Uh, it actually kind of is a uh, kind of is the original evil mega mega corporation actually. <laughs> in that, like, I mean, no, I I'm not serious. Like, like it's. One of its, uh, like, owners and CEOs was, like, prosecuted at the Nuremberg Trials for using slave labor in World War II. Ugh. Stuff like that. Yeah, one of the world's great, uh, heavy manufacturers and arms dealers. Well, I guess that was pretty common back then, though. And they are actually owned by a, uh, a dragon. Oh. Like I said, there are some, some of them are sort of, you know, part of society now. Okay, let's talk to uh, David Fry the second here. You look like someone who needs the latest in Matrix tech. What can I get you? Let me see your inventory. I could get a cyber deck. Oh, they're actually not that expensive either. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my decking up to three and grab that. I mean, it's only seven fifty. <laughs> And I have I have the data jack crammed into my noggin, so. Right. So is it 
I was asking you a bit before about the mechanics of the game. Is it really is it wise to kind of be a jack of all trades? Um, no, not too much. But that's that's not what I'm doing here. Decking is a, an intelligence based skill. Oh. Which okay. I'm al which I've already pumping up for my drones. So. Yeah. <sighs> As you can see okay. here, I'm focusing on quickness and intelligence. Okay. Um. Like I don't, I don't need much strength for close combat, and I don't need, uh, I don't, I got, I got charisma four, but I don't imagine I'll ever need it higher than that, and I don't need, you know, magic or whatever. So in the end, yeah, this game, you don't want to be a jack of like every trade, but you want to be a jack of more than one, because by the end, because remember what I said about diminishing returns? Mm -hmm. Raising from two to three costs three points. Raising a skill from six to seven costs seven points. So it can pay to spread it around a little. And this might be handy just because, like, I can do deck, I can do basic decking stuff without having to bring a dedicated decker runner along with me, you know. And Reiku Kraftwerk one. Now is the time on Shadowrun when we dance. You're probably too young to get there. Yeah, that's over my head. Just, just look up Dieter and Sprockets when you have the chance. <laughs> it's both hilarious and terrifying all at once. Speaking of hilarious and terrifying... You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna I remember, we do have very basic spirit summoning. I'm gonna put a little bit more into spirit control. Just so okay. that they don't immediately rampage out of... out of control and attack me. Right. Okay, let's go. And I have three weapon slots, and basically, my for weapons, I'm pretty satisfied with my rifle, so... Yeah, what the hell, let's give this a shot. Okay, so... Food costs, like, about the same, right? What, in the future? Well, like, it was like, what? Five bucks for a cup of coffee and a donut, like a sim donut or something. Oh yeah, something like that. Yeah. So like, imagining the new yen is about one to one, carrying seven grand on you. I mean, you're not loaded, but that's not yeah. bad. No. Now keep in mind, I'm probably not carrying that in cash. True. Because they've got you know like they've got like electronic the data sticks. Yeah, d yeah, the data sticks, cred sticks, things like that. Electronic money transfers. Routine and common, even for like basic trans, even for like simple transactions. Now here's programs I can get for the uh, cyber deck. They're basically they're kind of the equivalent of spells, for lack of a better term. Mm hmm. Grab a few. Ooh, area of effect attack. All right, yeah, that only costs us nine fifty. All right, I've got the. Okay, I guess I don't need to equip my programs. All right, maybe I do when I actually go into the matrix. Well, let's see. Still got my stylish ninja garb. Something about the image of a guy in, like, full ninja regalia with an assault rifle that's just funny to me. <laughs> What's funnier, a, a ninja in, like, black that is, like, in black in broad daylight, or a multicolored ninja? A multicolored ninja. <laughs> Have you ever seen any, like, the old, like, Joseph Lai, Gordon, Ho Godfrey Ho movies where the, where there's, like, White guys running around in be rhinestoned yellow pajamas. <laughs> All right, now let's look at the cyberware. Now remember, it costs essence, but that doesn't really matter too much because we don't use essence. We're not a magic guy. Um, right. And we we can afford any of these. Um, vision magnification. We can just have one of our ri limbs replaced for f six hit points. I mean, to gain six hit points. 
We can have our bones encased in hard plastic. Shiawase bone lacing. That would be a pretty invasive surgery, I imagine. Yeah, that's essence cost too. It's... That doesn't sound that bad. How much essence do you have? Uh, well, I have 5.5. You start with 6. I have 5.5 because I already have a data jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be a lot. I believe that, like, for different particular types, you can, uh, like, upgrade them without additional essence. Like, see, like this. Oh. Ares Dermal Plating. Basic. Ares Basic Dermal Armor Plating Implants. Add plus two armor. I can just basically, you know, make my skin armored. That sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, why not? It'd be a cool party trick, at least. That's true. Just, like, to, like, to, like, let, like, challenge people to just, like, put cigarettes out on my arms and I don't even notice. Yeah. These cyber legs are kind of <laughs> nice, too. Plus eight hit points and plus one quickness. And how much is that? That's two thousand dollars and two essence. Ah. So it's not cheap. So what happens if you hit zero essence? I'm pretty sure you just- uh, zero, I'm pretty sure you just die. I see. I'm pretty sure- you, I mean, like, it won't let you go down to that much. It'll, like, say, you know, it'll stop. Insufficient essence. Let's see, if I were to get the plate, dermal plating, and the cyber leg, and eyes, that would be... 4.5, that would leave me with 1.0 essence left. I'd, st I'd still have a small amount of flesh on me. <laughs> You'd be cyborg. He's more machine now than man. Eight hit points and plus one quickness is nothing to sneeze at. Mm. Doc, chop my legs off. It's only in my left leg or something, so I'm... Can I put it in both? Apparently I can. I have, like, no... No humanity left at all, practically, but I could Just because you lost your legs. Shadowrun is ableist. <laughs> <laughs> For shame. For shame. <laughs> I'm not less of a man because I have no legs, Shadowrun. Well, I don't know. I think it's not so much the lo losing body parts that it is the having, like... Uh, like Metal and circuitry, like, wired directly into you or something. Into your nervous system. Yeah. And the thing is, I mean, like, with essence, it's, like, basically the thing with essence is, like... Like, the less of your natural body you have, I think it's, like, the less you can do magic. And I think... I think you're also... You benefit... I don't think they they replicate it in the game, but I think in the tabletop rules you benefit less from magic healing. Just because mm. there's, less, there's less, you know, living stuff to magically heal. Right. But, yeah. Cyber up my legs, duck. I don't think there's any going back on this. Like, I don't think you can have... I know. Here we go. Cyber causes essence loss. Cyberware causes essence loss. This affects the magic rating of your character, as magic is equal to essence rounded down. Magic is very important for spellcasters. The base number of spell slots available to the caster is equal to half of their magic, rounded down. Therefore, losing essence can cause spell slots to be permanently lost. In addition, each point of magic loss increases all spell cooldowns by plus one. Casting a spell again while it is cooling down causes dam drain damage to the caster. You cannot have less than one essence. Alright, so that's like the surgeon's, surgeon's General's warning that appears on these cyber limbs, I guess. Right. Confirm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those, those are some top-notch sound effects. <laughs> I... And I think I'm not even paid for doing that. I could do that professionally. Be like that guy from, uh... Is it Police Academy? Police Academy.
All right. Yeah, I noticed I do have, I believe I have one less spell slot now. Yeah. Check it out, but yeah, see, notice notice my quickness, it's, it's, it's green now because it's been boosted up by one. So would it not be more beneficial to take that cybernetic enhancement once you've gotten your quickness to a higher... Oh, level. good question. It doesn't. It doesn't count for purposes of experience cost. Oh, okay. Good question, though. Yeah. Yeah, the experience cost is based on like your natural. Like, cause notice I also have the uh, plus three dodge because I have the ninja garment garb. Right. Yeah. But as we can see. Yeah, see, like, on the screen here, it shows my natural quickness rather than my adjusted mm. quickness. Okay. Okay. Alright. Should, should we have anything else lopped off? Hmm. Although I probably should save some money, because I'll need to, I mean, I'll need to hire some runners for this warehouse job. Oh, then maybe not. Not yet. So why your left leg? I don't know. It just says, which slot do you want? Hmm. Do you have a leg that you favor in real life? I assume I do. I mean, most people. I assume. I assume I do. Most people do. It's not something I really think about the way I think of my hands. Oh. You? My left leg hurts more, so it's my least, uh, it's less favorite. Okay. Ugh. So can you get, like, a, an arm cannon? No, at least... Or if there is, it's not unlocked yet. <laughs> Alright. I wonder what they're gonna... I wonder what they do with my old legs. Probably sell it. Oh, that's right! Yeah, they, they, they have quite a quite the body part, part, part mar market in yeah. the city. Now, do you think... Fit pe athletic people, or non-athletic people's legs are worth more. I'd assume athletic. Although... Yeah, I mean, I'd assume. Hmm. Although... I, that's an interesting question. I wonder if there is, like, a market for, like, high-quality limbs. Right. Would make sense. And, 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 or, like, matching ones. So, say, like, you are not an athletic person, and the only legs that you can get are super ripped. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm gonna look like a chode because I have one. I have to wait for the leg to atrophy with my inactivity. 